Hello everyone, this is DJ Gavin, and I am not the One Take Wonder. This is take four of me talking about my um, little infinitely scalable uh, register here. If you want the design, here you go. I will not make you wait. This is what it is. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure to note is, of course, that this uh, um, comparator is set to subtract mode, and this is pretty much it. Now to actually go into what this is and everything about it, uh, we have these copper bulbs here for an input, which I'll go into in a little bit of why I made this design decision. We have our write enable pin, which is currently enabled high, and we have our read enable pin, which is enabled high as well. Uh, the response time on this is about 7 to 12 ticks. Uh, 12 ticks if I'm going from changing the input here to uh, instantly writing out um, so if I were to update these all right now, and we do a write enable, that's about 12 ticks. And if we just want to, oops, um, write to this, and then at some point we want to read from it, this is about a 7 tick response. This is including the time it takes for the bulb to turn on, so this response time may vary. I'm not exactly great at calculating these tick times yet. Still working on it, still need a little redstone. Um, but the main mechanic here for updating all of these simultaneously is, of course, wallstone. We're taking the update of the entire wall based on this trapdoor changing it, uh, taking the observer signal, changing this copper bulb, and this changes the state of these comparators which is used for the repeater locking and also the subtract mode for the um, output enable. This design is uh, too tall, it is uh, three wide and seven deep. Um, however, that of course changes based on if you're using the copper bulb inputs or these lamps for outputs, but cutting off all of that, it's three by two by seven. You can actually configure this so that this is a active low write by doing this. This simply just inverts the copper bulb signal. Uh, you can do this as well for the other side, uh, but this allows you to change and configure this design to be either high enable or low enable, simply by just updating these when it is in the default state. Um, and that's about it. Here's another kind of more opened up version of it that shows you everything going on. Uh, we have, of course, the wall stone here. The observers updating them, or being updated by the wall update, uh, putting out these signals, putting them into the bulbs, changing their states, changing the comparators, changing these. Um, very simple, very small, very compact. So I made this design after looking at Tetherd's 8-bit uh, compact copper bulb memory. I've made a slight modification to it here where it's a reset on rising instead of a dedicated reset pin like this. So that just basically means that if I were to write some data here, it's all set. And if I set it all to zeros again, it automatically resets. Um, but the main reason I wanted to design that is actually because most ALUs seem to be vertical and having, you know, Horizontal registers with vertical ALUs causes some interesting redstone, uh, to say the least. And it also makes it so I have to do more repeater lines, having to watch all my redstone signal strength. Eh, it's a mess. So why do that? Uh, it also makes it so that it's possible to uh, wire them backwards by accident, like I did here, which means that this ALU is effectively adding... Uh, a plus the in uh, the reverse of B, which is not exactly what you want in an ALU when you're trying to add 1 plus 1 and get, well, not 1 plus 1. Uh, but the main design decision for having the copper blocks as inputs is actually because of this bus design. As you can see here, we have observers pulling off these um, rail lines here, and they are going into these copper blocks, which are keeping the state. These rail lines are butted instant. Uh, ba it's basically zero tick redstone. Um, so if I just update this, you can see that the copper bulbs are updating based on, well, if I update it anywhere, 
This is bidirectional, which is very nice. So I want to integrate this into my register directly as a design decision because having my bus be zero tick across the entire thing is, well, great for keeping everything timed correctly and nice and compact. Um, it also lets me, for instance, take my ALU. As you can see that these applets are currently set. If I disable the uh, read enable pin on that, of course the entire bus goes low. And if I put that high again, the bus goes to the state that it is. Um, so this is very nice, makes it so that copper bulbs are very useful for having an integration with these rails. If you don't know what these are uh, built like, it's basically this. Uh, rail line up to uh, like six blocks on each direction coming out. Um, so like one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this is basically a butted rail line. It takes advantage of this, so whenever you update it, it sends a signal down it instantly across the entire thing, no delays, and is very nice for computational redstone. Um, so I'll probably be making a video on me integrating this new register with a new ALU designed by Michael23B. This one is designed by Fearless. It's an 8-bit CCA. That's three ticks torchless. Um, if you haven't heard of it, it's amazing. It's basically the fastest thing you can find. However, I'm going to be changing over to a Wallstone ALU because I want to be able to change this from 8 bits to, uh, probably I'll be making it a 16-bit computer um, because it'll be easier to do things like memory access without having to do memory paging, and it gives me a bit more leeway in what this computer can do. Um, so yeah, I'll also be doing a video on a copper ball pixel display probably. This is a relatively compact one that is real, it is still reliant on the fact that these are uh, redstone lines. So it only can be about an 8x8 display before you need to have repeaters and add delays. But I want to make a 16x16 16 16 display. So I'll probably be taking some of the things I learned from this uh, little 4-bit register and using them for that copper pulp display which is a thought I only have just now had. So I'll probably be working on that after this. But for now, enjoy the new ALU design. Enjoy the 23W45A snapshot. And I will be seeing you around. Enjoy.